Good evening YouTube, my name is uh, Rob Pollard. This is another X-Plane 11 VR video. Uh, this time I'm going to demonstrate a night flight. Once again we're flying in the northwest of the United States in the uh, Washington region. And we're flying here from Tacoma Narrows and we're flying southwards towards Olympia. Olympia being the airport that you saw in the first video. Right into the cockpit. As you see, incredibly dark uh, at night, you can't see much at all. Luckily, X-Plane comes with a torch, which you'll see me activate now. There you are, the red torch. And uh, just going to uh, get some of the lights on in the cabin. That's it, turn those up. I'll also uh, end up turning up the, uh, the dash lights a little bit as well, so I can see the actual dash as well. Now, I don't tend to have it too bright because uh, in the dark your eyes adapt and it's quite weird because you get night vision in VR because yeah, seems like everything's so fly. dull. Here we go, start the engine. And we're ready to go, off for the fuel pump. Just making sure all the other controls, like mixture and so forth, uh, are good to go. I do, anything I do do, I forget that I got the handbrake on, which is why the plane's not moving. And I, I just remember right now. So back on with a torch and see if we can get out the handbrake. And it's quite difficult to reach, so you actually turn off the um, steering wheel by clicking on it and then uh, put on the handbrake. There you go, back on with the steering wheel. And then off with a torch and back on with a flight. I should probably say, um, uh, fly inside actually provides its own means of controlling and controlling aircraft, and uh, they're good for day flights, but for night flights they're too bright, which is why I tend to use a mouse. Uh, and luckily, uh, the way I'm sat, my, my mouse is on a desk directly in front of me, so it's very, uh, I know where it is, it's very easy to reach, uh, very easy to use it to uh, manipulate the aircraft's controls. Now, uh, night flying completely different ball game for day flying it's a lot harder you don't have as many references uh, and you're, you're subject to all sorts of uh, optical illusions created by uh, uh, the lack of those references uh, I can actually in real life getting around an airport must be quite tricky especially at night but, uh, luckily we're in Tacoma Narrows right now and it's an airport I'm very familiar with from uh, various flight sims uh, and here I'm making way for all taxiways uh, uh, so I believe it's runway uh, 17, which will uh, take me southward. Now the, the lighting in X-Plane is superb, it's all dynamic, you get real-time shadows, real-time reflections, uh, it just feels so real. Um, if you stick around uh, towards the end of the video, especially when I'm uh, on the finals of landing, you, you actually got to see the way the, the volumetric lighting lights up the ground as you approach it. It's, Say it looks good on a, a 2D screen, but in VR it just looks outstanding. Right, it's a relatively short flight. It, it takes about sort of 10 minutes or so, and I say the whole point of this video is to, uh, I guess, show off night flying in uh, in VR uh, in X-Plane. Uh, I'll basically leave you with the rest of the video. Uh, enjoy and uh, any comments don't forget to pop them into the comment section uh, thank you for watching uh, bye